Memphis man arrested after police say he targeted people in Nutbush and Berclair, but he was taken into custody in North Memphis. The Bureau AG's Jarita Patterson spoke with a woman who lives close to where that arrest happened. Allegations of back-to-back -back crimes rooted in cruelty and chaos landed a man in lockup. Detectives say Monday morning after a woman dropped her daughter off at school, she returned to her Macon Road apartment, only to find she was not alone. It is alleged Michael Jones, armed with a gun, forced her into her bedroom, ordering her to undress. She did as she was told. The woman regained control, however, when she started talking to Jones about sexually transmitted diseases. It gave him pause. He let the woman go after first taking her phone, wallet, and keys. Half a mile away, the 25-year-old is said to have robbed again the next day. This time, a man sitting in his car here at the Macon Manor Apartments was targeted. His wallet, keys, and phone also stolen. It's alleged Jones then traveled five miles to North Tresvent, where he was found sleeping in his car. He unknowingly helped police track him as one of those stolen phones was pinged and found inside his vehicle. Pray. All I can tell anybody, just pray. We met this praying great-grandmother who lives a few yards from where Jones was arrested. She says one thing's for sure. Because pray for the kids. Yeah. That's what I do every night. I pray for kids, babies, mothers, fathers, sisters, brothers, everybody. Because this, this we got a mess up her. It's messed up. A shared sentiment from others who said the entire two day ordeal, in fact, was messed up. This street, again, is where Jones is said to have fallen asleep inside his car. But now he's sleeping and waking up at 201 Poplar on a slew of charges that a judge will soon address. No, I'm not judging. I can't judge anybody. He, however, will face a judge on serious charges to include attempted rape and robbery. In Memphis, Jarita Patterson, WREG News Channel 3. We spoke to a supervisor at the Macon Manor Apartments who said he was unaware of what happened and didn't have a comment. As for Michael Jones, the judge set bond at $150,000. Following a video arraignment today, he is scheduled to be in court tomorrow morning.